even more hidden. Mm. You know, you don't, you don't see its evilness as if it's working for you. Mm. But it's not working for you. Mm. Uh, Ray Augusto, he was a St. John's U University student. Mm -hmm. And he was renting an apartment with his Korean friend. Mm -hmm. And the Korean friend basically had to go back to Korea for emergency. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Ray no longer has money to continue to afford the rent. Mm -hmm. So the owner started to do eviction. Uh -huh. And when he went to the court, the court told Mr. Ray, if you can go to a doctor and get a fake medical diagnosis saying that you are mentally ill, we will be able to help you to be able to continue to stay in that apartment mm. so that's <clears throat> how the government lawyer start to destroy mr ray oh. so mr ray then decided to follow that evil advice mm. and he went to the doctor and pretend he was mentally ill oh. and he got a certification that he was mentally ill and uh, the government lawyer then start to be you know uh, stating that mr ray is mentally ill therefore shall be under the guardianship. So Mr. Ray very soon was put into a guardianship system. Mm -hmm. The guardianship system basically means Mr. Ray is mentally ill and uh, is incapacitated and cannot handle his financial matters. Mm -hmm. And then all his financial matters shall be handled by a organization as called a guardian. Mm -hmm. The guardian basically is a very evil system that totally deprives American people's rights. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Ray then totally lost all rights. Immediately he lost all rights and he quit school. He no longer, you know, continued to do study. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't have to work. And the guardianship feed him with money. Mm -hmm. But the money is so small amount that doesn't allow him to do anything. So he basically, although he was not a mental patient, he was a very smart, you know, college student. He fell into the trap and he truly become like a mental patient. His mind doesn't work anymore, you know. So basically he was effectively turning to a mental patient by the system. And then he started to make trouble everywhere in the community. And uh, he didn't have to work. So all his energy started to be invested into troublemakings, you know? And the guardianship controlled his behavior. And uh, he always fight with everybody eventually. So he got into one trouble after another, one trouble after another, one trouble after another, and eventually basically losing everything. So when I met him, I told him, hey, Ray, you know, it's time to just get out from the guardianship if you really, really want to be a good man mm -hmm. and learn something from me. Uh, he was following me everywhere and making trouble for me everywhere. I said, if you really want to do something with me, you must stop guardianship first. Mm -hmm. He eventually listened to my advice and I tried very hard for him. Eventually got him quit out from the guardianship system. That's how he finally was able to settle down and return to his mother in Bronx. Uh -huh. I got him out from this whole destructive whirlpool. Mm -hmm. So he knows that I was really good for him. Uh -huh. And he, in his heart, you know, was grateful uh -huh. about the guidance I give to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ray. He's already very, very different from the Ray that when I first met him, he was so dangerous. And uh, Angela said, he's a devil. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything with him. He's filled with devil, Angela said. When I see him, his body is all controlled by the devil, the demons. He's a very dangerous man. Stay away from him. And uh, eventually, you know, Ray truly, after he got quit out from the guardianship system, mm -hmm. his mind gradually turned into some normality. Not completely recovered, but he overall now starting to understand how to, you know, behave properly. And uh, he also understands the importance how to be a good son. So he dedicated his time to be with his mother, 
which is truly a blessing of Ananda. <coughs> I think, uh, you know, Master Lee sees his innocence and uh, give him opportunities to rectify some wrongdoings. Eventually, Ray got protected. So he was able to secure a little, you know, car and he didn't go make trouble everywhere. He stayed with his car, he stayed with his mother. So this, all these years, the reason he's alive today has everything to do with his mind got turned around. Yeah, so Ray was also a very, you know, clear case of... Uh, he was a St. John College student, was very bright. He was also very, very athletic. So, you know, Ray was destroyed by the legal system and they try to so-called rescue him out from a uh, eviction case and from that moment on he got destroyed and uh, the whole elephant institute gave him the opportunity to be recovered mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. every single person currently associated with the whole elephant institute mm -hmm. was because of you know, they were in big trouble to begin with, and then I turned them around. Yeah. Every single person that right now I say, you know, it's a whole elephant institute member, but actually they were the one that got saved because they were in trouble and then they had a trust in me. One thing that I could help them is because they trusted me. Mm -hmm. Only because they trusted me, I could help them. Otherwise, I also could not help them. It's not me, it's because, you know, I'm telling you the messenger, the, as a, the messenger of the creator, as a Falun Dafa practitioner, I have been given protection and the power to do certain things that regular people cannot do. So, I look back into my journey of 18 years in Flushing, you know, I was following the journey of helping people to resolve problems using 501c3 nonprofit organization called the whole Alpha Institute. This is my journey. Mm -hmm. This is my journey. It's not it's not because of me so good. It's because I think this shall be a validation, you know, for the goodness of Falun Dafa. Anybody got helped? I cannot do it. It is truly Falun Dafa and uh, Master Lee who is behind all these great things that happen to people. People must be grateful. I cannot claim that it's my work because the moment I claim it's my work, I'm lying. I'm honest. Everything that I have done has everything to do with Falun Dafa and Master Lee. That's why I have faith in Master Lee. No matter how other people you know, they do this and that and say this and that. It doesn't matter what they do, but I know that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.